first courtyard of the Tokkapa Palace. Tokkapa Palace is one of the imperial palaces that has been built in the Ottoman Empire and most of these uh, palaces has been built with western structure so it is actually an art inside. Uh, this is the courtyard of the Tokkapa Palace which uh, public it was uh, it was open to public this place was open to public so uh, and, and we had some other displays in the courtyard scene such as the executioner's fountain or the or an, uh, I'll, I'll put it out. so for the Tokkapa Palace we have seen one of these balconies that sees uh, Bosporus and the Golden Horn at the same time. So it has, it has such luxury. And the royal family used to live in here. For this Bosporus, you see, it is a divide into three stumbles. So it divides uh, Europe from the Asia. And the land that you see across this Bosporus is the Asian side. We're standing in the European side in the old city. And some, uh, some of the last uh, what is this? high building up there. So that is named as Chandija Tower. We, uh, you remember the mosque I told you about with six minarets? That is named as Chandija Mosque. This one is Chandija Tower. It's been it's been unused uh, for a, a radio and TV tower. And the top two floor has been converted into a restaurant and cafe. So if you like to spend some time in there, you will get to see every bit of Istanbul from on top. So, let's move on in this conversation. So, uh, do you remember the meaning of Aya Sophia, which means divine? So, Aya means divine. Holy. And Sophia means with the Spanish it means Aya Irini, which means divine silence, which is also one of the attributes of Jesus. Is that a part of the Aya Sophia? No. No. It's a separate from yes. We used to have access in here, and from the second, uh, from the second entrance, only uh, military personnel, okay. royal family, could get in. How old? Oh, yeah. So not this is not the door I'm talking about. The second entrance is that way. How old is this? How old is this? Okay. <laughs> For the execution of this fountain, that's just going to see. In the Islam, I mean, we were uh, uh, commanded for religion. And the rule is, if you do something bad, you'll be punished in a bad way. Like, what could it be? Death. Easily. How so? Uh, they used to behead people that has done bad things or uh, maybe raped someone, maybe uh, made some thieving or a other bad crime, you might have imagined. They used to behead those people and put the, put the beheaded head into a, uh, in the, on the top of a stone right next to the ex execution fountain. So this place was open to the public and so the people who got in got, gets to see what happens to the people who do who do crimes. And what the British Republic has been founded by him, the royal family has been driven away from this place and converted into a museum. 
Now going towards the top capital towns.